Let's see how we can use UiPath do while loop to scroll through a list and uh, stop at a certain number. And at that certain number, we want a corresponding name. So let's say that we say 12. We want UiPath to give us the name correspond to 12. In this case, Julie Kirwin. This is just 20 random generated uh, names from a name generator on the internet. So nothing funny here. But um, let's start in UiPath. First off, we got a sequence. We um, want to have an input dialog. Input dialog here. We will find it over here. We drag it in. We need a title. We just put in the title. Label could be pick a number, one to twenty, like this. The most interesting part of this is the result we want to store the input in a variable in integer so we will um, press control k variable and we could call that uh, input number like this we change the variable type to integer like this now we're ready to write the loop so we will search for do while This loop will run the body until as long as the condition uh, is met. So when the condition is met, it will stop and move on. Um, we need to compare this input up here, the input number, with this number. So we need to compare two numbers. So we'll create another integer called, we could call that Excel number. That's the number we will get from Excel. We will change that to integer as well. And now we are ready to write the condition. It will be, it will run as long as input number is not equal to Excel number like this. And we can write the body now, which is the actual loop. So first off, we need uh, one thing that scrolls down the list like this. So it will be um, a hotkey, send hotkey drag it in here and it will just move down. So we pick down from the list and we click this click before typing over here. So now we need to can indicate where it should stop like this. And now we are ready to copy the selected text. So we will search for copy selected text, drag it in here and then store it as the Excel number we created down here. this so it will uh, compare these two numbers and when these two numbers equals each other it will stop and now we just need to um, get the corresponding name and um, display it so we will move outside the do while loop and we will uh, make a hotkey again we'll drag it down here and it will just move run to the right which is the right arrow on your keyboard we will find it here so now we are at the name at the excel sheet and now we need to copy that text so we'll choose copy select the text drag it in here and then we'll uh, store this name as a string control k we could call it name We'll see it down here. We will change it to a string like this. Now we're ready to display the name in a message box. So we'll find message box, drag it here, and we could write something like number is underscore. Um, and then we could write a number. It's, um, no, we don't even have to write is here. We could just write number. Then uh, we'll write the number. It's we could use either Excel number or input number. It's the same, so it doesn't really matter at this moment. Then we'll put in is, and then we will uh, put in the actual name we want to display. Now we can see UiPath uh, gets us an error, and it's because this Excel number is an integer, and we want to convert it to a string. So we write dot to string and now we are ready to run the whole uh, macro here 
So we'll just click run file. And hopefully it works. It will ask us for a number in the moment and we can pick 12. It's duly Kirwin. It should scroll through these entries. It will uh, copy this. It will compare it to the Excel number and then uh, it will compare it to the input number and then uh, it will see that uh, these two numbers does not equal and it will scroll the run down until we'll uh, reach number 12. And then it will find out that's, that these two numbers are the same. It will move to Julie Cuban and now it's it says that number 12 is Julie Cuban and the mission is accomplished. Thank you for now.